Jane Addams. She was known as the mother of social work. She was a pioneer American settlement activist reformer, social worker, public philosopher, public administrator, protester, author, and leader in women's suffrage and in world peace. The settlement movement was a time in which the goal was to bring the rich and the poor together. Settlement houses were built in poor urban areas in which volunteer middle-class settlement workers would live, hoping to share knowledge and culture with their low-income neighbors. Adams wanted to improve and provide resources for civic and social life to institute education and improve the industrial districts in Chicago. She did this by making a settlement house, named the Whole House. The purpose of the whole house was to reduce poverty by providing social services and the education that they needed. By the second year of operation, the whole house served more than 2,000 residents. It was so successful that it added nearby buildings to provide for other activities. She made speeches about the needs of the neighborhood, raised money, convinced young women of well-to-do families to help, took care of the children, nursed the sick, and listened to outpourings from troubled people. Adams believes in an individual's obligation to help his or her community, but she also thought the government could help make Americans' lives safer and healthier. Adams worked with a group of women and launched numerous important social programs. One included the Juvenile Protection Association, which led to the first juvenile court. She was also a voice for women and children, which included child labor regulations and mandatory minimum education laws. Adams became active in the international peace movement, then providing assistance and relief supplies to women and children in enemy nations. She was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1931, and she still continued to work in the whole house until she died in 1935. Adams honestly wanted to help all people, no matter where they had came from, and her statement changed the lives of many. She emphasized the importance of the rediscovering humanity's ability to foster compassion and goodness in light of a large-scale warfare. She seemed to be the light at the end of the tunnel. She quoted, Nothing could be worse than the fear that one had given up too soon and left one expended effort that might have saved the world.